Open Aortic Surgery, Wikipedia Article Audio Open aortic surgery describes a technique whereby an abdominal or retroperitoneal surgical incision is used to visualize and control the aorta for purposes of treatment. OAS is used to treat aneurysms of the abdominal and thoracic aorta, aortic dissection, acute aortic syndrome, and aortic ruptures. Aortobifemoral bypass is also used to treat atherosclerotic disease of the abdominal aorta below the level of the renal arteries. In 2003, OAS was surpassed by endovascular aneurysm repair as the most common technique for repairing abdominal aortic aneurysms in the United States. In OAS for abdominal aortic aneurysm, the aneurysmal portion of the aorta is replaced with a graft, usually made of Dacron or PTFE. Medical Uses Reasons to Avoid Technique Approach Sequential Aortic Clamping Techniques to Limit Ischemia Graft Configuration Reimplantation of the inferior mesenteric artery Risks-slash-complications Recovery after OAS Open aortic surgery is distinct from aortic valve repair and aortic valve replacement, as OAS describes surgery of the aorta, rather than of the heart valves. When the aortic valve is diseased in addition to the ascending aorta, the Bentel procedure is used to treat the entire aortic root. An axillary bifemoral bypass is another type of vascular bypass used to treat aortic pathology, however it is not true open aortic surgery as it reconstructs the flow of blood to the legs from the arm, rather than in the native location of the aorta. OAS is used to treat patients with aortic aneurysms greater than 5.5 cm in diameter, to treat aortic rupture of an aneurysm any size, to treat aortic dissections, and to treat acute aortic syndrome. It is used to treat infrarenal aneurysms, as well as juxta and pararenal aneurysm and thoracoabdominal aneurysms, and also non-aneurysmal aortic pathology. Disease of the aorta proximal to the left subclavian artery in the chest lies within the specialty of cardiac surgery, and is treated via procedures such as the valve sparing aortic root replacement. Prior to the advent of EVAR, OAS was the only surgical treatment available for aortic aneurysms. It is still preferred at some institutions and by some patients as it may be more durable than EVAR and does not require post-operative surveillance CT scans. OAS is sometimes required for patients who have previously undergone EVAR but need further treatment, such as for degeneration of the EVAR seal zones leading to continued aneurysm growth. OAS is also sometimes required in cases of EVAR graft infection where the stent graft is removed to treat the infection. The shift away from open aortic surgery towards endovascular surgery since 2003 has been driven by worse perioperative mortality associated with OAS, particularly in patients in relatively frail health. Unlike endovascular repair, there are no strict anatomic contraindications to open repair, rather, open repair is viewed as the fall-back option for patients with unfavorable anatomy for endovascular repair. Open surgery typically involves exposure of the dilated portion of the aorta and insertion of a synthetic graft. Once the graft is sewn into the proximal and distal portions of the aorta, the aneurysmal sac is closed around the graft. Alternatively, the anastomosis can be carried out with expandable devices, a simpler and quicker procedure. The aorta and its branching arteries are cross-clamped during open surgery. This can lead to inadequate blood supply to the spinal cord, resulting in paraplegia, 
when repairing thoracic aneurysms. A 2004 systematic review and meta-analysis found that cerebrospinal fluid drainage, when performed in experienced centers, reduces the risk of ischemic spinal cord injury by increasing the perfusion pressure to the spinal cord. A 2012 Cochrane Systematic Review noted that further research regarding the effectiveness of CFSD for preventing a spinal cord injury is required. The inferenal aorta can be approached via a transabdominal midline or paramedian incision, or via a retroperitoneal approach. The paravisceral and thoracic aorta are approached via a left-sided posterior lateral thoracotomy incision in approximately the ninth intercostal space. At medical centers with a high volume of open aortic surgery, the fastest option for open aortic surgery was sequential aortic clamping or clamp and so, whereby the aorta was clamped proximally and distally to the diseased segment and a graft sewn into the intervening segment. This technique leaves the branches of the aorta unperfused during the time it takes to sew in the graft, potentially increasing the risk of ischemia to the organs which derive their arterial supply from the clamped segment. Critics of this technique advocate intraoperative aortic perfusion. In inferenal aneurysms, the relative tolerance of the lower extremities to ischemia allows surgeons to clamp distally with low risk of ill effect. A number of techniques exist for maintaining perfusion to the viscera and spinal cord during open thoracoabdominal aortic aneurysm repair, including left heart bypass, balloon perfusion catheter placement in the visceral arteries, selective spinal drainage and cold crystalloid renal perfusion. There is limited evidence supporting these techniques. The abdominal aorta is anastomosed preferentially to the main limb of a tube or bifurcated graft in an end-to-end -end fashion to minimize turbulent flow at the proximal anastomosis. If normal aorta exists superior to the iliac bifurcation, a tube graft can be sewn distally to that normal aorta. If the distal aorta is diseased, a bifurcated graft can be used in an aortobiliac or aortobifemoral configuration. If visceral vessels are involved in the diseased aortic segment, a branched graft can be used with branches sewn directly to visceral vessels, or the visceral vessels can be separately revascularized. Because of collateral blood flow from the SMA via the marginal artery, the inferior mesenteric artery usually does not have to be reimplanted into the aortic graft when performing an open abdominal aortic aneurysm repair. Open aortic surgery is widely recognized as having higher rates of perioperative morbidity and mortality than endovascular procedures for comparable segments of the aorta. For example, in inferenal aneurysms, Perioperative mortality with endovascular surgery is approximately 0.5%, vs 3% with open repair. Other risks slash complications with aortic surgery depend on the segment of aorta involved, and include renal failure, spinal cord ischemia leading to paralysis, buttock claudication, ischemic colitis, embolization leading to acute limb ischemia, infection, and bleeding. Recovery time after OAS is substantial. Immediately following surgery, patients can expect to spend 1-3 days in the intensive care unit, followed by 4-10 days on the hospital ward. After discharge, patients will take 3-6 months to fully recover their energy and return to their preoperative daily activities. Aortic Valve Repair <laughs>